Hey everyone. So everyone's gone sticker crazy. So I thought I'd jump on that sticky bandwagon. And I made these. Hey everyone, welcome to Scott Rod's HQ, otherwise known as My Basement. I thought it was about time I had some stickers to either give away or ex exchange for other YouTubers who want, to, who want to do the same. But being a cheap Scotsman, I figured why pay someone else to make stickers when I, make, I can possibly make them myself. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do, using nothing more than a cheapo inkjet printer and some hopefully decent uh, vinyl printer paper. Now, I've specifically gone for this one. It was on Amazon, it got pretty good reviews and it's the matte version rather than the glossy. Apparently the glossy ones that the ink can uh, smudge off. So I'm gonna try the, the vinyl matte, that one there. We'll see how it goes. So step one is obviously get your image ready for printing. Now, this isn't going to be a tutorial about using PaintShop Pro or Photoshop. This is really just going to be to see how this performs, if it smudges, and if it sticks to a car window or anything really. So let's uh, prepare the image and we'll do a test print. So as you may have guessed, this is my Scott Rogers logo. Now, you see black and you see white, which is fine. That's the simplest form of colours that you can use in a sticker. But you've got to remember that an inkjet does not print white so you're going to rely on the whiteness of the sticker for all your white parts now i am not going to do a big square like that i've got a choice i can either make an image in a circle which is very easy to cut out but i would like a, a little black border around it and leave a little overlap when i cut it the other option is to print the logo and then cut round the perimeter of the logo itself. Now bear in mind that this section here may look strange at first, but it would be really difficult to cut that section out. So my plan is to leave again a little border all the way around the image and cut out maybe, you know, three mil out of the border. That will take a lot longer than just cutting out of a circle. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to print this on just normal paper to make sure the spacing is right. I'm using A4 paper, I believe. So I'll print that out, make sure it works, and then we'll try it on the printer paper. So what do we do? File, print. Ah, I've already got mine set to A4, I believe. Everything looks good there. Number of copies, one. This will just be a very quick print to make sure it, it prints in the right layout. It's not going to be in the right um, type of paper, so it'll be a very fast, low quality print. So that looks to be like a nice size sticker. That one is obviously bigger because it's got the circle around it. So I could possibly enlarge these a wee bit. It would also make it easier to cut out. So I think I'll do that. Just enlarge them by 10, 10 to 20%. Also get full use of the paper because the paper's not cheap. So let me do that and then we'll move on to the photo paper or sticker paper, I suppose. Okay, so I've now enlarged the non-circular one. I had to do a wee bit of cropping to get the spacing right. So we'll print this one out, see how that compares to the last one. So that's the old one, new one. That's better. So that's the plan. We're going to go with that size, print it onto this paper. I should probably read the instructions, but um, you know me, I probably won't. 
Now I did read somewhere that you have to make sure this paper's the right way around. Like it's only really printable on one side. I'm not sure why it's in two packages. I guess it's to stop it drying out or something. We'll see if there's any obvious difference in the feel of it. Yeah, one side is definitely smooth, the other side is more papery. Yeah, you can see that's more sort of matte finish and that one's, that side's shiny. Well, I mean, it's still it's still matte, but it's, it almost looks yellowy there. I don't know if you can see that. The back, the back side is quite uh, white. Anyway. Give it a shot. It's quite thick. It's thicker than I thought it would be, which is good. You don't want a skinny sticker. And it is the same size as the paper I'm using. Okay, I decided to read the instructions, which is just as well, because it says, on glossy media, print on the glossy side. For matte media, print on the matte side. Therefore, the white side is the side I actually want to print on. Still not convinced. You know what? I need to see which side is the sticky side. Obviously. And then I'll know for sure. <sighs> Craft knife. Don't laugh, it's my wife's. I'm just gonna cut halfway into the paper. Just to make a little slit to make it easier to open. Okay, I made a right mess of this corner, but uh, hopefully it'll be okay. So the sticky side, when I peel that off, the sticky side is underneath this mat. So I'm not quite sure what the point of having a glossy, a glossy rear section that you throw away, but hey, we'll give it a shot. Okay, so the settings then for the printer. So in my printer settings, I tried going into photo printing, but it would only let you print in, you know, like photo card size. But if you go into standard, you still have the option for print quality, media type. Change that to photo papers, glossy photo, print quality, high, paper size. I get the option to change the, the paper size to A4 here. So we should be good. When I click OK, we should get a preview, which is that. Print. Make sure the layout's correct, which it is. But here I get the option to change to glossy paper if I want. Don't you just love printer settings? I'm not going to print it in glossy because it's not glossy in printing, so we'll try plain paper with high quality. It's only a black and white image, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect colour because it's black. Right, let's go. What a surprise, paper jam. Ugh, that's my own fault. But you can see there that the layout size wasn't even right, even though, even though it's A4, it still isn't the right size. That's crazy. I did a test print as well, didn't I? Unbelievable. Anyway, that will give us enough to, to go on and all I have to do is move the whole set of images upwards. But I'll wait for this to dry and we'll see if it actually works as a sticker. I mean, it looks nice enough, but uh, time will tell. Coffee time. Right then, let's start with the easy one. The circles. These are probably not the best scissors to use. It's all I could find. Let's see how neat a circle. I'm going to leave about a few mil distance between the black line and 
to the exterior perimeter that I'm making. Obviously this would all be much easier if you had like a cricket or something. One of those specifically made printers for the job that cuts out everything like a, a vinyl plotter. Okay, that's one. Now the hard one. We'll try one of the, the outline jobs. Obviously you'll need to use a sharp scalpel or exacto knife you guys might call it. This looks like a right pain. I'm going to leave a decent border to make life easier for myself. Stickers. Where did I start? Yeah. But again, I don't have a lot of money, but I do have plenty of time, so there's no harm in just taking your time with this sort of stuff. That's our two stickers ready to be applied. Let me know which one you prefer. And I will head out to the car or out to the garage and see if it sticks to anything. So now I just have to find a place to put them or one of them. First of all, it advertises it as waterproof. But seriously, do you really expect an inkjet printer to be waterproof in any way? But hey, we'll put it to the test. We'll find a spot in the car. I think this window here is probably where I'm going to go for. And we'll, uh, we'll leave it out in the rain for a day and see what happens, shall we? Anyway, let's see how it, uh, how it applies. I suppose I should at least give the window a clean. Give the sticker a fighting chance. That'll do. Okay, so, tricky part is peeling these off. You should really cut a wee slit in the backing paper before you give them out or try to use them, to be honest. I mean, it feels like a sticker. Looks like a sticker. Must be a sticker. Sticker stuck. Time will tell if it stays a sticker or if it just turns into a bit of white paper on my window. <laughs> there you go. So that's me officially in the sticker exchange program. If you want one of my stickers and you want to give me one of your stickers, send me an email link in the description with your address. I'll post one out to you wherever you are in the world. I hope I didn't uh, just cost myself a fortune there, but uh, it's going to be the smallest envelope I can find. It's got to be the cheapest thing you can post, a very small parcel anywhere in the world. So as I say, you send me yours, I'll send you mine. Right, tomorrow hopefully I'll be getting back to work in Bugsy. The weather's not been great the last couple of days and also it's payday tomorrow, hey! So I can start ordering all those suspension related items. I've been doing a lot of research, but I will do a final check with everyone to make sure I'm buying the right stuff. Until then, take care everyone. See you in the next one. Bye bye.